Bill of Lowndes County and uh, Justin Carroll, Jason Kane, would you please make your way up front? Look at that for us, look at that. Still back a lot here, that's not a bad thing. <laughs> Again, gentlemen, uh, we'll, uh, we'll go alphabetically and with our opening comments. Uh, first, uh, the incumbent, the Republican Justin Cabral. Thank you, Chris, and I also want to thank the Home Builders Association and Talk uh, Radio 105.9 for hosting this forum and allowing uh, the public to once again interact uh, with the candidates. I am Justin Cabral, and I am the Solicitor General of Lowndes County, and it's been my privilege to serve as such. Uh, we handle misdemeanor offenses in state court. We handle important cases in state court. And as someone who's, who's prosecuted their entire lives knows that most of, your mis most of your felony offenses somewhere along the line started with a misdemeanor. That that home invasion burglar started with a shoplifting that that meth lab started with a little bit of marijuana, and that murder started with some family violence. And to treat these cases any different is a disservice to the victims of crimes, to the officers who investigate these cases, and all of us who work with these cases on a daily basis. It's only a misdemeanor until it touches you. And a career prosecutor who has prosecuted thousands of cases knows this. A career prosecutor who's tried everything from trial molestations and armed robberies and murders knows this. A career prosecutor who has received extensive specialized prosecuting training knows this. A career prosecutor who has worked with victims of crimes and law enforcement for their entire careers and been fighting for them knows this. Ultimately, a, a prosecutor's ultimate responsibility is discretion, decisions that we make that touches victims of crimes and law enforcement and the community. And this, this discretion comes from much from background, training, and experience. This discretion comes from making these decisions over and over a career. And it is this, this, this discretion and background and training that the governor looked at when he appointed a solicitor general it is this background training and experience that the governor looked at when he asked me to serve as the only solicitor on a special counsel for criminal justice reform. It is the background training and experience that I have relied upon every day that I've been on the job. And I promise you that it is the background training and experience that will guide me as I try to do the right thing in every case and try to help protect you. Thank you. Next is also the Democratic uh, candidate for Solicitor General, Mr. Jason Payne. Three minutes, Jason. Yeah, thank you, Chris. Uh, I'll introduce you to myself. I'm Jason Kane, and I'm also running for Solicitor General here in Lowndes County. Uh, I was born and raised here in Lowndes County, and be specific, I was born and raised in Hayhire, Georgia. Uh, I'm a graduate of Lowndes High School. My wife and I both are 1984 graduates of Lowndes High School. And I have seen a couple of folks in here who also happen to be in a graduating class. Uh, Missy and I, Missy is my wife, we've been married about 23 years. We have three children. We have a son, Cameron, he's 22 years old. We have a daughter, Courtney, she's 20. And Jason, she's 17, she's a senior at Bob Austin High School. Uh, Cameron and Courtney have already graduated from high school. They're Bob Austin High graduates. This year we expect Jason to graduate from the Austin High School as well. My legal, my legal experience is this. Uh, I became a member of the Georgia Bar in 1994. And so I've been a, a lawyer for about 18 years. And actually started working as a juvenile court judge. And worked about five years as a juvenile judge. Uh, also worked two years as an assistant district attorney. I've been in the private practice of law, and we're in about our eighth year with the newly created uh, public defender system for the state of Georgia. So for the last eight years, I've been an assistant public defender here in Mount Austin. And with that job, we've been representing people. And I believe that I am a more rounded candidate. I, I respect and I salute Justin for his career prosecution or his prosecutor's experience 
Uh, there's nothing wrong with that. It's just that I believe that I would bring uh, more to the table. I believe I'm, I believe I'm more rounded and would bring a more of a general approach to the prosecutor's office, the solicitor's office here in Lowndes County. Uh, the prosecutor for the solicitor general's office is the misdemeanor prosecutor for Lowndes County. I believe the general approach to the prosecution in that office, you would need a more, I believe that I'm a more rounded candidate to to handle the position of Solicitor General for Lance County. Thank you, Jeff. Uh, I will tell you this is the hardest way to come up with questions for because it's not really an issue campaign, it's more about uh, doing uh, the job. But uh, you both mentioned something in your opening statements. I'd like to, this our first question, and Jason, we'll start with you. You both talked about your experience, uh, and you have different kinds of experience making you the best candidate for this position. Can you give us uh, exactly what your background is? And Jason, I know you just touched on this a little bit, but exactly what your professional background is uh, as it uh, pertains to this uh, candidacy for this office. Sorry, we have one minute. Sorry. As I said, I've, I've worked as a, a juvenile court judge, and the, the duties of that position are to sit and uh, listen to evidence and decide cases, decide the facts as well as the law on deprivation matters, which is issues regarding uh, children not being taken care of within the home. Also delinquency or the criminal matters in the juvenile court. Uh, I also worked as an assistant DA for a couple of years here in the uh, Southern Judicial Circuit. I practiced law, I did domestic relations, I did criminal defense, and I did some PI or personal injury type work with my practice. For the last eight years or thereabout, I've been handling uh, criminal defense of people who cannot afford lawyers, uh, felony criminal defense here in the Southern Circuit. Very good. Uh, just the same question, one minute. Uh, just uh, exactly your professional experience leading up to this point. Well, I did start out in private practice, and I did serve uh, two years also with Jason in the Public Defender's Office. But most of my career has been as a prosecutor. I spent eight and a half years with the Southern Judicial Circuit District Attorney's <laughs> Office here working for David Miller. I've prosecuted hundreds if not thousands of cases, everything from speeding cases to double homicides in every county in the circuit. And part of my job is I, I receive specialized prosecution training from, from organizations, uh, law enforcement organizations, on subjects like child molestation and gangs and drugs and so forth. And I think it is this extensive background with the specific problems that we handle in prosecution uh, that helps me and, and let's not forget that I have been doing the job for the past eight months as well. Very good. Our second question, just we'll start with you on this one. Uh, the solicitor general is responsible for prosecuting misdemeanor crimes in Lowndes County. In your view, what is the biggest area of concern when it comes to crime in Lowndes County? Well, the price of growth uh, in Valdosta and Lowndes County growing is obviously there's always going to be a, a, a subsequent increase in crime. <laughs> You could spend days uh, talking about why that is and the reasons for that. We're on I-75. My experience as a prosecutor is most crimes at its root is drugs. You're either on drugs, you're under the influence of drugs, you're trying to get money to buy drugs, or there's a gang situation. The root of crime, 99% of it, I think it's some kind of drug call. Very good. Uh, Jason, same question to you. In your view, what is the biggest area of concern when it comes to crime in Lowndes County? Probably drugs, Chris. Uh, I will, let me clear this up. I said that I, I believe that I'm the more rounded candidate to prosecute in the Solicitor General's office here in Lowndes County. I don't want anybody to believe that uh, I have the opinion that you should be soft on crime, and I'm certainly not soft on crime, and I want to clear that up. Um, I believe drugs is the biggest issue, and usually drugs is behind every other offense, or the majority of them. But uh, there, there's one thing, there's a couple of cases uh, that I believe that have come through the solicitor's office that I believe you should certainly be tough on. Other cases you can come to some understanding with them, 
But when it comes to family violence, better. When you got family members beating up on each other and driving under the influence of alcohol, those cases I will hold the people accountable for. Thank you very much. All right, our next question, Jason, we'll start with you on this one. Uh, much of both of your campaigns have been about educating the public about exactly what a solicitor does. What is the single most valuable trait that a successful solicitor must possess? A fairness, uh, experience to look at cases and decide which cases should be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law, and then to have the background and the fairness uh, to present that case or to handle that case and whether to go forward with it and how far to prosecute the case. Just the same question to you, the single most valuable trait that a successful solicitor must possess? Well, I do agree with fairness, but I think experience is certainly important. Uh, the responsibilities of a prosecutor is a little bit more than the responsibilities of the criminal defense attorney. You know, we can't just worry about one client. Our responsibilities include the victims of the case, law enforcement that brought that case, the court system, the taxpayers. And all of these considerations must be considered in every single case. And it helps when you've been making these decisions and been making these considerations your entire career. Uh, finally, uh, we'll have our closing remarks. Justin, we'll start with you. You have one minute for closing remarks. Thank you, Chris. These are certainly challenging times for all levels of government, just like with individuals and families. We're the eighth busiest state here in the state, and we're going to get even busier as now Lossie grows, now the county grows, with the changes of laws. The goal is to meet these challenges while forever always trying to improve our services to the courts, the legal system, law enforcement, and ultimately the public at large. You meet these challenges through implementing programs, utilizing technology, working on your practice and procedures, but most of all through people. We meet these challenges by having a highly experienced, trained, and competent staff and our office meets these challenges by having the Solicitor General, the prosecutor, being the career prosecutor. So in this race of prosecutor, I ask you to vote for the candidate with the most prosecuting experience, for the candidate who has the most trial experience, who has received the most training, who has worked with the most victims in law enforcement. I ask you to vote for the candidate who is the only prosecutor running for this race, and I ask you to vote for him. Thank you. Thank you. Jason, put it more on it. Thank you, uh, I believe I'm the more rounded candidate, and, and you've heard, some people have heard our speeches for two or three times now, but I think I'm the best, the more rounded candidate, and I will put my resume and experience up against Mr. Cabal's, and it's up to the people of Lowndes County to decide this. He's quite capable of working as the solicitor for Lowndes County, but I am too. My experience is there to leave the office of Solicitor General. I believe I'm the more rounded candidate. I believe I'm the best candidate for the job. But when it comes down to it, if you like Mr. Cabral, vote for Mr. Cabral. If you like me, vote for me. Both of us are capable of doing the office. And I believe that I'm the more rounded candidate for your best choice to be solicitor. Thank you. Thank you both very much.